Hi guys, I'm back with a, another zero waste video today and it's been a little bit of a break since the last one. It's been a month since the zero waste baby bag and I would really like to get back into making videos regularly again, but as you guys know, I had a baby. She, here she is trying to eat my necklace. <laughs> she is seven months old now and it's kind of just dawned on me the only way I'll be able to make videos regularly again is if she is in them too. We've also had a pretty busy couple of months. We were at VegFest in London recently. We had the first York Animal Save Vigil, which went really well. And we very recently got back from Vienna because we went to the big animal rights conference there. So that's a little bit of a recap what Frida and I have been doing, where we've been traveling around. Oh, and we also went to Berlin back in September for the Gan Summerfest um, festival, which was pretty cool too. Berlin is great for veganism and just great generally because Germans are cool. So today we're gonna make zero waste facial toner. So three ingredients, zero waste facial toner. It is so easy, it's so easy. I can make it one-handed and you'll be able to see me do this while holding Frida with the other hand and she's gonna be balancing on my hip. So if you guys don't have a baby, you're gonna find this even easier to make. The first thing you will need for this recipe is some sort of container to put your toner in. So this one that I have is a glass bottle. Now I favor glass over plastic because glass, <laughs> glass does not leach into anything like food. So it's really great to store food in zero waste wise. But it's also really good for anything you're gonna put on your skin because don't forget guys, anything you put on your skin gets absorbed into your body. So we really like glass and we really like stainless steel. This bottle I measured out, it contains, it. well, when full, it will contain 250 milliliters. It has a spray top, which I really recommend because then you can spray the toner evenly and distribute it all over your face. You don't need any of those like little pads because they're actually waste toner in my opinion. And then three ingredients, as I mentioned. The first one is apple cider vinegar. <laughs> yes, yeah, she's excited about this one. So apple cider vinegar is nothing short of magical. It can be used um, in lots of other things as well. Some people use it as a zero waste hair conditioner diluted with water. I've done that, it works really well. And if you haven't used apple cider vinegar topically on your face before, then I recommend that you err on the side of caution and don't put that much in. It's better to put a bit less in your first time. And then if it doesn't irritate your skin, which it might not at all, it depends on your skin type, then you can add a little bit more. So I like the Bragg's one, it is organic. It's raw, unfiltered, and it's with the mother, which I think it means it's got these little bits in it, which not all apple cider vinegar does have. The next ingredient is free. It comes from your tap. It is water, except it's not just water. It's distilled water. Now, some people would buy distilled water in bottles from the supermarket, but they'll come in plastic bottles. So you can do a really easy do-it-yourself distilled water. You boil water in your kettle, and then you, when it's boiled, you pour it out into some sort of jar or glass and measure it out. So in this recipe, because my bottle is 250 milliliters, it's 100 milliliters of distilled water. And the third and final ingredient you'll need is rose water. Now, I don't use any particular brand. There's nothing special about it. You can get rose water in most health food shops. Just check that you, if you can, buy it in a glass bottle. And if you can't buy it in a glass bottle, and this is something I tell people, then you can buy something in a plastic bottle, but buy it in as large a plastic bottle as you can, because then it's less plastic overall, because you're not buying multiple plastic bottles. I know some people are really strict, and so if you buy anything in plastic, then you fail but come on, I'm more of a realist and I understand that it depends where you live, what country you are as to what's available. You can still make this toner. It would still be classed as zero waste in my opinion. You've got to work with what you got basically. So rose water, go for organic and you will need 100 milliliters of rose water for this recipe, a little bit more maybe. I'm kind of a bit loose with the measurements because I kind of do it by my eye, but I've tried to measure it out for you guys because I know you'll probably want a more accurate amount. So let's make the toner.
So that's it guys, it's easy as one, two, three, and it's so, so easy that, as I said, you've watched me make it with Frida in my arms, on my hip, and as I said, if you don't have a baby, this recipe is gonna be super duper easy for you. Let me know how it goes if you do try making it. And as I said, err on the side of caution if it's the first time you've used apple cider vinegar on your face because it might make your skin react. I know I used way too much the first time I made it and it made me get a really ugly rash. So if you are using a 250 milliliter bottle or something like that, maybe go for a little bit less than 50 milliliters, like gauge it with your eye, I'd say. But do let me know how it goes. I love this tone. I've been using it for more than a year now. Yeah, much more than a year because I was using it when I was carrying her. So the whole time I was pregnant with her, I was using it. And I just love using things on my body that I know all the ingredients. I know they're all basically really natural. And I know I made it. So I know exactly what's in it. It's three things. And I love that. It's also much cheaper in the long run. And it's just fun to make your own products. And I'm enjoying, I'm going to enjoy teaching Frida about this as she gets older. So yeah, let me know how it goes if you do make it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.